Somebody put on these glasses. Make them so rose colored too. Somebody put on these glasses. So you can see what fakes to do. <laughs> hey, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, this article, especially to my old school listeners, especially us that had to grow up in a generation, you know, where if we didn't graduate from the school, we didn't graduate. Either we had to go to summer school and make up credits, or our asses flunked. It wasn't no, oops, I cursed. It wasn't no walking across the stage. With a blank piece of paper, acting like you did something that you didn't. I think that is part and parcel what has ruined America. Um, I think part and parcel that has made some people that are afraid of competition, people that are afraid to, just afraid of everything. Just afraid of everything. Um, I think competition is very healthy. It breeds champions. And for any, steel sharpens steel. And for anyone to say that it doesn't, it gives people inferior complex and all that kind of crazy stuff, that's a loser. Straight up loser. And what it's done is it's created a whole path full of losers. Because when you listen to an article like this, it makes you say this is really pitiful. I mean, I don't know what other way to describe an article like this um, that says, okay, there's a certain segment of society that are asking doctors not to weigh patients every time they come in for an appointment unless it's absolutely necessary. Please don't weigh me unless it's really medically necessary. If you really need my weight, please tell me why so I can give it to you. Uh, my informed consent. In my informed consent. I can give you my informed consent. Okay. Because they said that when they get up, when the doctor tell them to get on the scale, they get their feelings hurt. Because, you know, their asses may be a little bigger than it was last time they came in. Um, or just right nicely, um, they don't want their feelings hurt by even knowing that they've gained a few pounds. Um, because I, I don't think that they would have that same mindset if they just knew. When, if they just knew when they went into that doctor's office that they lost a few pounds. What y'all think about that? You think it's just me tripping? Um, this right here to me seems like it perpetuates some real um, wimpy people. That is kind of scary because it's like, I mean, geez, you can't protect everybody from everything. There's some things that just, I'm sorry, you just going to have to deal with. You're going to just have to deal with, and you can't make accommodations for your ass. I, I, I don't understand. So, um, you know, in this particular case, you know, ouch. That, that's in other words, that's that's exactly what's happened. I can't find the article right now, you guys. But it's along the lines of people not being able to handle reality. And then they make it all types of damn excuses for why you should fake stuff. So let me just I'm just gonna leave it like this. How many of y'all are from the generation that if you didn't do what you were supposed to do in high school, you didn't graduate. Or if you dropped out, you dropped out. Maybe you went to technical school, you got your GED or high school equivalency. Whatever the point is, you didn't get a chance to walk across the stage and trick people like 
you graduating too and you haven't done the same thing as the people who are walking across that stage with an actual diploma. How many of y'all grew up in that generation? I want to know. Um, and do you think it's made you a better or a worse person? That's what I want to know. You think it's made you better or worse? Would you have rather been lied to or been able to um, walk across the stage? I don't think it's a wrong, right or wrong answer. Um, that's They're all opinions. So I'd like to know. Tell me what the hell you think about that one. Because it's really crazy to me. It really is. These people don't want the doctor to even weigh them, it seems, because they might get their feelings hurt. Pull away. Pull away from the table. 